Hello, this is Lindsay with River Mountain Properties, back with you today for another tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to either purchase renter's insurance or upload it if you've already purchased it from another source. As you know, renter's insurance is a requirement of your lease. You will not be able to move in or pick up keys until you can prove that you've obtained this. So here on the home screen, if you've not already purchased renter's insurance and you want to get a quote, you can hit learn more, get a quote today, and then you can fill out this information and go ahead and get a quote. If you know you are ready to go ahead, you can hit purchase renter's insurance. And this is going to ask you some information about the property and you before it gives you the um, charges. So this is the right property. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Now we're just going to make up a phone number here and hit save. And then you're going to need to add any additional residents. So all of your roommates will be listed. And then we're going to customize the policy. So this gives you some, some options here. So for the basic plan, it's only $12.92 um, a month, and it gives you $10,000 in personal property. So go ahead and think of the items that you're going to have in the unit. And if they're less than 10,000, then this is all the coverage that you need. Say, for example, if you have some really expensive computer equipment and you feel like this amount of coverage is ju just not enough, you can go ahead and, and pick one of the other plans. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. So then you're going to hit select date. And you're going to want this to start on the day that your lease starts. You don't need it to start before because you don't want to have to pay for it until you absolutely need it. So let's say your lease starts on December 1st. So then you're going to hit payment options, and then you can either pay it all at once, be done with it, $168 for the whole year and you're done, or you can pay monthly, totally up to you. Then you're going to hit checkout and add in your payment information, and then you're done. And once you hit submit, that's going to satisfy that requirement on your lease to get renter's insurance. Okay, let's take a look at if you've gotten renter's insurance through maybe your car insurance or um, if you're a student, maybe your parents have obtained it through their homeowner's insurance. But what you'll do is you'll come down here in the menu and click on insurance. And over on the right, it allows you to upload other renter's insurance policies. So you'll just need to fill out a little information on the policy. Then you're going to upload a certificate that shows you do have that insurance. Hit submit. And then again, you've satisfied that requirement of your lease. If you have any other questions about renter's insurance, please give us a call or send us an email. Thank you so much.